Great news, everyone. DaVinci Resolve finally got automated captions. Yippee! The automated caption feature is only available in the DaVinci Studio version. It is not available on the free version. To download it, head down to blackmagic.com support. Go to the latest downloads and find the DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.5 public beta. Download it for your Mac or your Windows and you're set. Now in the new DaVinci Resolve 18.5 public beta, I have my clip with some audio in there. All I need to do is head over to timeline and hit create subtitles from audio and just hit create. It shows me the analysis speed over here and how much time is remaining. So for my clip, it's about 45 seconds and that's it. We now have automated captions throughout this entire video. I'm just going to play a bit of it. Today I'm going to show you how to take these cheap IKEA pegboards and turn it into this. So even with my mixed Indian, Russian, English accent, it understands the text pretty well. If I want to change the text in any of these, I can simply click on it, head over to the inspector. I simply click on that and it appears in the inspector on the right hand side where I can make my changes if any mistakes are there. I can also customize each caption, font, face, color, size, etc. If I want to customize the entire subtitle track, I can simply go here and customize everything as I want. I can add a drop shadow. Can change the color change the color of the text and now all of these are changed it also understands where music is so let's head back to captions so it understands this part is just music and there's no text over here you can customize this into something else as well increase the size if you deselect that it goes back to the settings you had set up in the track this is still pretty basic the fact that it recognizes all this text and places it perfectly is, is great. You cannot really customize it and make it like the TikTok ones or the ones you see on Instagram where they bounce. The only things you can change currently are here. That is your character, your stroke, your transform, drop, shadow, background. And that's about it. I'm sure Blackmagic will improve this and give us some more control over this. For example, we can add some sort of effects on top of the subtitles as well. So you don't need to be on the edit page to do all of this. You can also do this on your cut page so right now it's showing up over here but you can simply go and click this new timeline actions button and create subtitles from audio and it'll do it over here as well well that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one